Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, it is Sweetest Dolls here, and today I'm opening um, a Mermaid High doll, which I haven't done in a really long time, and today I'm opening Spring Break Reina, which I'm very excited about because it's a mini ex cadenzas, my friend Brooke. This doll looks a lot like her, and it's one of the only dolls that looks a lot like, a lot like her, and also it's a mermaid doll, which is like, she's a mermaid woman, so, merwoman, whatever. Um, so I'm excited to have her and bring her into my collection so that she can become friends with all my other dolls. Um, also, sorry if I sound a little weird. Um, it's currently 2 in the morning. I just finished doing a bunch of homework, and I wanted to film this video, and I also have another doll. I need a box, so I wanted to do this now so I, I could fix them up later on, but I already started cutting her box open because these boxes are really annoying to open. They're like a pain in the ass. But they're so pretty because they look like bubbles. Okay, that's not working. Um, can I please just open this? Okay, please, please tell me I opened it. Um, oh, I guess question mom opening. Um, do you guys like Mermaid High or do you prefer um, <coughs> Mermaids Mermaids? Because I know that's kind of like the debate. I guess, between mermaid brands, it's like one of those two, so I want to know what your opinion, what your take is, um, for me, I guess I'm like kind of indifferent, because I like both, I like aspects of both of them, but, um, aesthetically, I pr definitely prefer mermaids, but as a doll, um, and, and like all in all, I much prefer um, mermaid high because they have full articulation um i know i'm i'm like fine with mermaids not having legs because like let fish be fish but it, it would be nice if they ha could i don't know have like more articulation in the fin be able to sit down properly why is this not opening i don't want to like ruin her i don't want to like hurt her like, I don't know what I'm doing. I hate opening these boxes so much. I did it! Yay! I don't know what the f hell I was attached to, but... Whatever. Um, but yeah, let me know which, like, mermaid doll line you guys prefer. Um... <clears throat> but yeah. Okay. I hate this packaging so much! Okay, I finally got it open. I'm so excited about her. Although, her, like, color change hair, because they, they have a color change gimmick in their hair, I'm, like, 99% sure that, like, it's Polly, because I'm pretty sure everybody that's opened them, I've watched a few reviews. I watched Brooke's video on this doll, specifically, and I watched, uh, the Doll Daddy, I think. He did a video on Oceana and Finley, is that her name? What? Finley, yeah, I think he did a video on those two. Or maybe it was, um, Ciara. I don't know. But he did a video on them. And, um, I'm pretty sure the hair is Polly. Which is upsetting. Because, for the most part, they've had really good hair. And I'm pretty sure most of her hair, besides the color change part, is, like, saran or just, like, high quality whatever. Because, like, for the most part, <laughs> all these dolls have really good hair. I have two of the original Mermaid High dolls. Um, I have Mari and Oceana. And they have, like, absolutely amazing hair, so... I don't know. It's a little upsetting that, like, she probably has bad hair, but Polly comes in so many different colors. Plus, it's probably not easy to find, like, a color change hair that's high quality. Um, but, yeah. Okay, is she almost out? What is she connected to? I haven't opened a mermaid high doll since probably December, I think, because that's what I got one for Christmas, I think. So... She's out! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, she's so pretty. I genuinely think this is probably one of the prettier, um, Mermaid High dolls. And she still does have her flaws, but I, I do think she's quite pretty. Um, but yeah, everything's out of the box. So, oh wait. Her fins still tackled together somewhere. I need to open that so it can be free, because their fins are, like, so big and so amazing. 
granted the designs are not always like the best like um point in case this one like i get what they're going for but like why we're not like in the hipster phase anymore <laughs> And I think, like, the schoolgirl um, gamer aesthetic it could be done really well. But this is just, like, kind of... She's so cute, though. I'm very excited. Um, but, yeah, her color change hair is definitely not what this is made out of. It doesn't feel bad. The ends feel really bad. But it should be pretty manageable. Um, but, yeah. So, here's Reyna. Oh my god. My lighting keeps changing. I'm sorry. I really can't control that. I'm like, I don't want it to flicker because that can be really annoying. But sorry about this, guys. Um, but yeah, she's like really cute. The um, actual tail design is not my favorite, but I think it's good for what it is. Also, this, okay. Is that going to say? Fine. But most of the mermaid high faces are about the same. They don't really have a lot of makeup on. Although she does have like some like pink shadow, which is cute. I'm going to take out her earrings because they are big and like, kind of annoying. At least this one is, which I, I don't really like big earrings. But I mean, they can be taken out, so I don't really mind. <coughs> she has this cute like 8-bit heart on a chain. It's like faux 8 heart. 8-bit. This isn't like true 8-bit. 8-bit. Oh my god. It's a slightly transparent pink, which is cute. Um, and then the other one is a shell that has, like, game controller, like, um, details on it, which is really cute. And it's on a bunch of pearls. Same material thing. Um, but, yeah, so I'll start with her hair going down. So she has really pretty, long, brown hair. Thank God, brown hair. I love natural hair color, especially since this is probably the closest to my actual hair. Um... I've had my hair dyed, so this probably, like, my hair is always going to be changed, but, yeah, that's exciting that it's, like, pretty similar to what my hair is. She has a bunch of these really cute, like, Tetris-inspired, like, hair clips in her hair. She has, like, kind of an up, half up, half down thing going on, which is a choice. I mean, it's cute. It looks good on her, so I don't care. And then she has just two little long bang bits here. Um... Going to her outfit, she has this cute, um, like, collared shirt. It has suspenders on it. Um, it's pretty cute. It's well-made. The, everything is, like, stretchy material, which is nice, especially since these are mermaid dolls, so they're going to be played with in water by kids, regardless. Um, next is her tail. I'll take off the tail after I go over this, plus I want to put her shoes on her. Um... Her tail has a really cute plaid skirt on it, and it's nice because her actual, um, like, uh, not underwear, these are that's not underwear, swimwear, <clears throat> is the same design, so, like, even if the fin is, like, sliding off a little bit, it looks pretty seamless, which is really nice. Then we go into this absolutely horrendous, um, like, 8-bit heart, like, candy heart inspired type thing, and, but it does have, like, fit, um, scales on it still i'm just not a fan of this specific print so like say we had like this print on the tail i think that would have been a lot cuter or something like that i i just don't understand why and then we have these two big fins that are actually in the shape of hearts that have the same like theme and then we have the really big fin under here that is the plaid material and when i tell you i love I love the construction of these tails because they're just so pretty and they're stretchy and they're really, really nice. But, yeah. So, that's kind of her. Um, her articulation, she doesn't have wrist articulation, which is, like, kind of annoying. But everything else is pretty good, pretty cute. You can get pretty cute poses with her. And I don't mind. So, I'm going to take off her tail now so we can see. Oh, that's so cute. I'm actually a really big fan of that okay wait why is this not turning okay there we go i just need to loosen it up one of the legs was on a little loose or at least it looked a little loose i'm going to put on her shoes and then i'm going to put on oh is this right foot i can't tell i can't tell what foot is the 
right one for each. Those are really cute. Let me put on her glasses so she can look like Brooke. Okay, please put, <laughs> put your glasses on. Please, I beg. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so here she is as a human. Oh my God, <laughs> she's so cute. I'm sorry. I'm like, my allergies are really bad right now. So that's why I sound like I'm dying. But she's so cute. Okay, so um, this is kind of like a one piece when it comes to the actual construction of it. Like, it's interesting. I don't really know how you would probably get this. Oh, wait, never mind. No, I do. Never mind. That's actually really cool. Since the suspenders are here, this is like one piece. Um, the only real um, new thing is that these are obviously shorts and then they have this like little frilled out thing. Think about the um Monster High swim dolls. I don't I don't know what that line swim class dolls. They kind of have like this kind of theming on a lot of them except it's in like some like plastic material or whatever, but that's not important. Um next are her really cute shoes. I love the shoes that Mermaid High does and they fit a lot of different doll lines. Like they fit Fail Fix really well. Um, I think they fit Rainbow High and the Juniors, so really fun. And these are really cute. They're just like chunky sandals with the heel being a um, plastic gaping heart. And they're made of a slight, they're made of like a gummy-ish, um, like a malleable plastic. And it's like slightly shimmery, which is really cute. I really like these shoes, and from, like, front on, they're so cute. I don't know if I have them on the right feet at the moment, but they're so cute. And then her glasses go on her really well, and they seem to stay pretty well, too. Um, they go on over her ears really well. And they have, like, game controller motifs, so they have, like, the D-pad, and then they have, like, some buttons. But, yeah, that's, like, kind of it for this beautiful mermaid girl. So, all in all, I really like her. Um, I knew I was going to like her. She's my favorite out of all of them still, even though the tail is, like, not my favorite. Although, I really wish that we... There was just, like, a different print here. Or they just took away the hearts or made them smaller or something like that. Because the tail itself is so cute. Like, I love that it has, like, a skirt on it. It's, it's just really cute. And then her as a doll, really, really cute. I'm excited to have her. Kind of want another one. Because I'm crazy and I like to have one that's like in as good as condition as possible. And then one I could just play with and redress and all that stuff. Plus, it's my friend Brooke. So, it's just really nice to have her. Because now she can chill with all my other dolls. And they could all be friends. Like, so fun. Um, but, yeah. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, she stands on her own. That's good. Um, if you want to see more videos, I have a whole lot coming, and I have a whole lot that are out already. Um, this will probably come out, actually, after, um, the other Bratz unboxings I'm doing. I have two Rock Angels that are filmed already, and then I'm opening the Sweetheart Megan repro, which is quite literally just on my shelf over there. Um, but, yeah, if you guys like my content, um, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Twitter. Those are where I'm the most active. Um, and, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Um, Brina and I bid you a nice farewell. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day.